What's up guys, welcome back to Chill, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, um, we are chilling uh, with the Toyota Supra, the car that uh, we didn't end up selling. I know a lot of you guys have been hitting me up like, Nor, what's going on with the Supra? Did you sell it? Um, because I haven't seen it on the channel for a minute now. And uh, the reality is I did actually sell it. Um, to my wifey. So <laughs> she ended up seeing how this build went down. She saw the perfection that went down on this car and she was like, are you really gonna sell it? Are you really gonna sell it that cheap? I'm like, she was like, I just don't want you to sell it. And I was like, I got to, you guys know that the dream by the end of the year is getting an Audi R8. And uh, thankfully she had the means and uh, I mean, we worked that little discount as well, but she had the means. <laughs> She had the means to be able to get this bad boy. She fortunately actually sold her M4. So at the same time that she sold her M4, she's like, you know what? Can I just buy the Supra and then you can get your R8 and you know, everyone's happy end of the day. I was like, you know what? That sounds like a great idea because you guys know, again, the love, the dedication we put into this car. The repairs were on the passenger side. You guys can't even tell anything even went down with this car. It's literally the work is amazing. You guys even know that we fly out V2 and he did such an amazing work on this car. We got the Aza steering wheel in this car as well. So yeah, for everyone that's been asking me, Nora, what's going on with the M4? Like I see the M4 in your videos, but you're not telling me who owns this thing, whose car this is, and it showed up when VTune got here. Long story short, my wife bought it, and uh, we enjoyed it for a little bit, but at uh, the end of the day, she liked the Supra so much more. So long story short, is officially sold, sold to my wife, it's in the family still, great car, and she's gonna go ahead and actually do an oil change for the first time on it, she's gonna show some love to this car. We got some modifications to install into this car from Keys Motorsports, and then we also need to show it some love and get it a very clean car wash, because for some reason, birds love the color yellow, right? <laughs> <laughs> She's been driving this thing to work every single day. She comes home with like 20 new poop stains and it's like, come on, dude. So yeah, we need to get this thing a proper wash. Again, get this, the new modifications added, do an oil change um, and just get everything reset. So without further ado, let's go ahead and cut into time-lapse mode. So now that we finally finished the oil change on my wife's Toyota Supra, kind of crazy to say that, but uh, it's yeah officially finished. We went ahead and reset the service line and everything like that. Now we actually have a safety mod I want to get installed into her car just in case anything happens, somebody accidentally hits her or even this car, any electrical issues and just any random stuff. We want to make sure we're protected. I don't know if you guys saw in the last video, we got a fire extinguisher over here. It's actually my second fire extinguisher because I kind of accidentally set the E90 M3 on fire with my boy Erlan. We experimented on something and it set it on fire. And I'm telling you guys, if I didn't have a fire extinguisher on me, it would have went really bad. So the second fire extinguisher that I got in literally less than a month, like what are the odds that I finally got fire extinguishers and I actually had a fire to actually use it? Kind of crazy stuff. So anyways, so here's some preventative stuff we got from Keys Motorsports. This is Keys Motorsports' stealth fire extinguisher kit. So this bad boy, they either come in red aluminum or regular aluminum or carbon fiber. I chose to opt with carbon fiber. We got one for the Supra. One I think might fit on the E90 chassis. They're rated for G chassis, but they possibly might fit on the E90 chassis. So we're gonna go ahead and install on the Supra first. Hopefully it's easy, but uh, yeah, I'm very excited for this. And guys, finally, after installing it, check it out. It actually looks so cool over here. We got some carbon fiber. We got the actual fire extinguisher right over here. Um, again, this is a 50 second one. They have a 100 second one as well. But if anything minorly happens in this car, uh, we can go ahead and put that out without actually further damaging to this car. Literally, most car meltdowns is because people don't actually have fire extinguishers on them. Little, It's, it's normally started by little fires. If you have something to put out a little fire, it'll save an entire car, especially if you don't have full coverage on it. So uh, definitely worth the investment if you guys want it. Make sure to check it out from Keys Motorsports. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing a wash because it really needs it. I give you my word, that's what I stand on. 
Loyalty and trust is what I stand on. Family and love is what I stand on. Talking big, big. I knew that one day that I could make it big, big. I'm talking how to stay smoking without a sense. This the anthem. If you rockin' with it, put your hands up. Yeah. This the anthem. If you get up and get it, put your hands up. Yeah. If I give you my word, that's what I stand on. Loyalty and trust is what I stand on. Family and love is what I stand on. And guys, we are at the end of the video. So yeah, this is another short video. I decided to upload a little bit sooner rather than later. Um, I'm trying to get some things together on the E91 so I can get you guys a jam-packed video on the E91. The thing is, there's a lot of tedious things that go behind building a car from scratch. And one of the tedious things is removing the entire body harness from one car, memorizing and labeling every single wire and moving it to the other. I don't wanna make three different parts of removing a harness, laboring a harness, then putting it into the next car, then the third video, is actually wiring everything in. I'm trying to get the wiring all pulled from one card labeled and put into the other. It's gonna be very difficult, but I'm happy to say that I'm at least halfway done with the process. So in the meantime, I wanted to show you guys updates on what's going on around us. The situation with the Supra, because a lot of you guys have been hitting me up on Instagram like saying, Nor, where is your Supra? I actually have all the cars labeled on my Instagram. Uh, what cars I have, what cars I don't have, and it doesn't say Supra over there because um, my wifey bought it off me, so shout out to her. But she got a good deal, end of the day, and I am one step closer to getting my R8. So God bless, that all worked out perfectly. But yeah, guys, that is gonna have to conclude the video. I will be having some more update videos pretty soon with the 328 and the E90 M3, but primarily, hopefully, in the upcoming weeks, we're gonna be focusing on the E91 M3. We have a lot going on, but again, guys, it's because we're on a time scrunch to finish the E91 M3, but also get an R8 by the end of this year. We have some big goals, and hopefully, we can accomplish them by the end of this year. So if you guys can do me a favor and smash the like button, a giveaway is coming soon, so uh, look forward to that. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. Family and love is what I stand on. If it's love, I gotta tat it. Father, I'm not at